Hello everyone, this is John Bourne, Executive Director of the Sloan Consortium. I wish to invite you to attend the Emerging Technologies for Online Learning, a joint symposium of the Sloan Consortium and Merlot with MoodleMoot. This symposium will be held this year, July 20th through the 23rd in San Jose, California. We are very pleased to partner with Merlot and interact with MoodleMoot. The symposium is designed to bring together individuals interested in technological aspects of online learning. We will have an intimate and highly focused event about new technologies and how they're utilized in our field. The emergence of the collective. Terribly, terribly interesting. We are beginning to see, as part of this empowerment process I've decide, described, we're starting to see the emergence of all sorts of interesting things. When we have 1.3 billion people persistently connected to the internet, even 0.1% of that is a very big number. systems you can use to get this content uh, up and available to students. You can embed it within a learning management system like Blackboard. We'll talk a little bit about that later on. Uh, you can post these media on iTunes U, which we do a lot at Seattle Pacific, or you can even post the media on the web via a, a lot of avenues, which we'll speak of later, uh, YouTube, screencast, and so on. So we think it's really important for us. Um, we're big believers in this open content. Um, so we think we, you know, besides being takers of the content, we should also give some. And so we make sure that our, all of our content on iTunes U is publicly available. One with Alcoot was, Alcoot is a, um, a city in Wasset Province, and I didn't know very much about that particular city. And it's, we, the topic that week was to describe your, your, your town, your hometown. And so one student went into great detail about how beautiful it was and all of the, uh, the fig trees that were in the outskirts and the old architecture in the streets. And so I was, we were coaching, I was actually working very hard at that point, coaching them to put up links so that people to share with us and to share with the other students in the class. So I decided to model that and I went on to um, Google Images to look up Alcoot and see if I could find some of these beautiful images that she was painting of the streets and the people eating outdoors and the and um, the trees and all of this and what I found was was pretty shocking for me at that time um, because I, what I felt was there was often a barrier between this pure online class where we were teaching in Oregon and where what they were existing and most of the time that barrier was very solid but there were a few times that that barrier just dissolved and broke down and this was one of them so I looked up on Google groups and I found a series of pictures that look something like this for Coot, Al Coot. Um, with soldiers and explosions and blood on the street um, and firing and this was one of the architecture from the old buildings with bomb holes in them and cars blowing up. Sorry. There were just pages and pages of this one on the Google um, images when they came up on the thumbnail view and I was just kind of going wow <laughs> this is not what I'm hearing my student talk and the one that really got me the most was when I um, came to a, a picture of grieving widows and suddenly I could see the faces of my students and in front of me were like their sisters or aunts or relatives and realize what that almost everybody had been touched by this. Every, I'm sure every, all of my students have been touched. So let me first of all give you a little bit of background about my study and why I thought it was sort of important to conduct it. 
I've been teaching a really long time. You know, I was like very young when I started, almost 30 years. And it was interesting because I felt when I first entered the doctoral program that sort of online learning was a bit cold. And so I entered the doctoral program because I wanted to see if there was technology out there that was a little warmer. And so lo and behold, Web 2.0 technology started to evolve. So did the social technology. We hope to have another really great conference this year and look forward to seeing you in California.